With such natural wonder in abundance, it doesn't take much for Cape Town to impress and dazzle. The city is about to witness the final group matches of this year's African Nations Championship, and Group B has itself the potential to astonish a few people. Uganda, under the watch of Micho Shredojevic, are the surprise leaders of the group, but they are likely to still need a point in their final group match against Morocco to qualify. Morocco with their Botola Pro, one of three, the best leagues in Africa, and a team with experience, with quality, uh, with very good individuals packed in very good team. We're expecting a very, very tough match. We respect them, but not over-respect. A uh, moment when we shall over-respect them, legs, they will be locked. And if Uganda can qualify, Mitya hopes that achievement can have a positive impact on football in the country. We are only national team that has come here that has no any support whatsoever from the government. All other national teams, they have huge uh, financial injection towards uh, their national teams. So we believe that with our possible qualification, we could uh, raise the attention of the people back and recognize that we are good ambassadors of the country, that we have returned country back on the football map. Zimbabwe have drawn both of their games so far, have yet to concede a goal, but have yet to score one either. They face bottom side Burkina Faso in their final group match, and the Zimbabwe coach Ian Gawoa is positive they too will progress. The players, especially uh, me as the head coach, I think I've got every confidence with the players that uh, we, we, we will go through, although it, it will be a tough uh, match. I think everybody in the group has got a chance of going forward, so we will take our chances. And uh, the good thing is uh, our fate is in our own hands. We just have to go out there and score to begin with. We have to score. So who will advance from Group B? With all four teams still in with a chance of qualifying for the knockout phase, it promises to be a tense evening. The underdogs of Uganda and Zimbabwe have given themselves a real chance. The question now is whether they can get over the line. Dan Williams, CCTV, Cape Town.